What's going on with five-star wide receiver Jeremiah Smith? Rumors are swirling once again in his Ohio State on the verge of flipping a four-star recruit from the Florida Gators. And will the Buckeyes land a five-star offensive lineman? In this video, we're going to hit on all of that and more. But first, Ohio State fans, subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We're growing this page. We want you Buckeye fans to be a part of it. Hit subscribe for me, please. Okay, let's bring on director of recruiting here at On3, Chad Simmons. Chad, before we get into the big names that were already on campus in Columbus last weekend, let's talk about one big guy that wasn't there. And that's five-star offensive tackle Jordan Seaton. Number one offensive tackle in the country. He was supposed to be in Columbus, but things just didn't work out, and he's going to reschedule. Uh, for Buckeye fans, where do you think Ohio State stands right now with uh, Seaton? They remain in the race, Josh, of course. You know, I think it's kind of a must to get him back on campus for sure at some point. Uh, likely, based on what I hear, it has to be in December. Right now, the plan is to be at Tennessee this weekend, Oklahoma next weekend. But we've seen it before. Things are very fluid with Jordan Seaton. Things can change pretty quickly. Um, but I think right now they're still trying to figure out when – uh, he can get up there. So I think if he does make that trip to Columbus and gets back on campus, hasn't been there in a year and a half since the spring game mm -hmm. in 2022. So for them to be a strong and true contender come December 20th, they have to get him back on campus. Yeah, they must. But I, I actually think this is kind of Ohio State strategy here is to get him on campus as late as possible. Because you and I both know Jordan's impressionable. He's young. He gets excited. And hey, Ohio State, like you said, they haven't gotten him on campus for a long time, but maybe the best time to do it would be right before signing day. So we'll keep an eye on that one. But I agree. I do expect him back in Columbus, like you said. Uh, some flip targets on campus over the weekend. We'll start with four-star wide receiver Chance Robinson. He's committed to the Miami Hurricanes. Ole Miss is heavily involved here as well. Miami trying to hold on to him. Ohio State gets him up there last weekend. What are you hearing from your sources coming out of this most recent visit? I think Chance now is just working to, number one, win a state championship again with St. Thomas Aquinas. Right. But when the, when it comes to recruiting, just figure out you know, where he wants to be. Make that final decision. I don't think he'll take this thing until December 20th and then you know announce if he signs and sticks with Miami or flips to Ole Miss or Ohio State. I mean, I think going to Ole Miss a couple weeks ago, I think really opened his eyes and really gave him a different perspective about – Lane Kiffin's program, what it's like in Oxford, the passion in the SEC. I think all those things caught his attention, but I still continue to hear that the biggest threat to Miami is Ohio State. You know, obviously the proof's in the pudding, as they say, with Brian Hartline, his track record, his player development at the wide receiver position. Um, they really got down to business, the nuts and bolts, the ins and outs of Chance's game, how he can get better, how he would be used by Heartline in that scheme, how they would coach him, how they would develop him. And basically it was kind of left on the table for him. Hey, if you want to be part of this program, we're here for you. We're not going to beg. We're not going to sit here uh, and call you 24-7. You know what Ohio State has to offer. Uh, they offer a lot, and that definitely has Robinson's attention. I think right now – Based on what I'm hearing a few days post-visit mm -hmm. is that this one is nip and tuck, extremely tight between Ohio State and Miami. I would give the slight edge today as we shoot this this morning, maybe to Miami holding on here, but Ohio State is right there with the Hurricanes. All right, yeah, Miami holding on to their recruiting class. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, they are not as successful in holding on to the recruiting class. The Florida Gators, they've already lost two defensive commitments over the weekend. And now Amaris Williams is being predicted to Ohio State by many insiders. So, uh, Chad, I got to ask you, does Amaris Williams even make it to his visit to Tennessee this weekend? Or does the defensive lineman just go ahead and flip to Ohio State? What are you hearing on Williams? You know, as of time we shoot this, Josh, it looks like Amaris will take that visit to UT in okay. December if we get that far, not this weekend anymore. Tennessee's pushed that back. So is that telling them maybe that they kind of feel they're not up there in that top group with Ohio State competing against Florida? Uh, it can be read different ways there. But right now, Williams is set to be in Tennessee in December, not this weekend. Ohio State, you know, clearly is the biggest threat to the University of Florida. Coming off that OV 
earlier this season there was buzz then that he could flip you know pretty quickly to ohio state he then returned this past weekend for the michigan state game on an unofficial trip to Columbus and the momentum has taken to that next level. Uh, what Larry Johnson does on that defensive line, even from Penn State time to Ohio State time, his resume kind of speaks for itself. That has resonated with Williams and his family as well. I think he likes his personality, Larry Johnson. Uh, the NFL production obviously speaks for itself. And I would say, you know, even though he remains, you know, on paper committed to Florida, Ohio State is the school trending right now for Amaris Williams. All right, so Ohio State fans, Amaris Williams is officially on flip watch. Uh, we'll, we'll continue to watch that one. Now, Ohio State also playing a little defense. We got to talk about five-star wide receiver Jeremiah Smith as he's coming off a visit to Tallahassee for that FSU-Miami rivalry game. And, of course, rumors are swirling once again. Nothing new to this Jeremiah Smith recruitment. But, Chad, what are your sources saying about where things stand with him and the Buckeyes right now? Yeah, I like how you say that, Josh, playing a little defense. We've known Ohio State for a long time under Ryan Day, all about that offensive firepower. This year, their strength on the field has been that defense, and they're trying to play that defense now on the recruiting trail and kind of hold Florida State off from five-star plus mm -hmm. wide receiver. Jeremiah Smith, we know, obviously, he made headlines all over the weekend being back at Florida State, staying the night, meeting with the staff again on Sunday morning before heading back south to Hollywood, Florida. And he's set to be back for that official visit, you know, in December, just days before the early signing period. I think there is some some level of worry. I think Ohio State is taking Florida State extremely serious uh, as a threat in this race. Florida State, you know, definitely has opened Jeremiah's eyes with the play on the field this year, the play of Keon Coleman. Johnny Wilson, Hakeem Williams is getting involved as a true freshman. Uh, who's that next guy to step up and be that number one guy at Florida State? How they throw the ball, they're winning big games, they come in prepared week after week under Mike Norvell. Um, but again, I think if all stays the same at Ohio State with Ryan Day, Brian Hartline, um, it's going to be extremely tough to flip him away from Ohio State. Those relationships, again, going back to the proof in the pudding about how he produces Brian Hartline, the wide receivers, getting those guys prepared for NFL first round draft picks. Uh, they're going to lose some receivers. Marvin Harrison, those yeah. guys are moving on. There's some transfer portal guys likely going in. So the opportunity will be there for Jeremiah right away in Columbus to play and make that big impact as a true freshman. So Florida State, very much in this. They are a real threat to Ohio State. But I think right now, as things stand where they are, Ohio State still in a pretty good position to hold on here. Yeah, I agree with you. I think anytime Jeremiah Smith, the number one wide receiver in America, shows up on a campus in the state of Florida, it's going to generate buzz. But like you said, Ohio State has a track record of developing and producing first round wide receivers. We'll see what happens there with Smith, but I think the Buckeyes hold on to him. I appreciate you, Chad. Thanks for stopping by today on the Inside Scoop. And listen, Ohio State Buckeye fans, there is a lot more content on Letterman Monroe, the fan site on the On3 network. And if you go there right now and sign up for the monthly option with promo code Josh, you'll get the first two months for a dollar each. This is for Inside Scoop listeners only, and you can't get the offer anywhere else. In those two months, that's enough time to get you through signing day, where Letterman Row will have all the latest updates on major recruiting developments between now and National Signing Day. So I'll put the link in the description of this video and use promo code Josh to sign up for two months of Letterman Row for a dollar a piece. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.